all right so far we have successfully run our uh, django template so instead of this uh, uh, test message we are going to use our uh, real template okay so come to this sublime, sublime text or uh, any text editor you placed for the uh, you know template files so here uh, go to the index.html file okay so this is the index.html file we are going to use for the home page all right so just uh, say control a select all and copy it and paste it inside this home.html okay save this and let's see how it works okay let's refresh this this will not of course uh, don't expect this to be a beautiful template now it will not work but let's i just want to uh, show you guys how this looks refresh it all right so now you can see none of the static pages okay none of the static pages none of the uh, images are working here okay so no css also working right so what we need to do now is we need to configure a static for files so that what i mean by static files is uh, this okay so this you can see uh, open the image so see like you can see the page not found this is actually the logo okay so in django we have a topic called static files all right so we need to configure that so that all the css files and all the P like uh, png or jpg or image files will start working okay otherwise it will not work all right so in order to make this work we have to configure static files in django okay so to do that just uh, go to the uh, folder like the text editor here and in the project level folder here on the grid cut just say right click and create a new fold called folder called static okay so hit enter inside this static we have to bring all the uh, this all these uh, uh, you know all these uh, css folders fonts and images and js okay we have to uh, copy these four folders into our static folders okay inside here in this folder so to do that just uh, go to the uh, hist, uh, you know this bootstrap template here great cart and copy this css fonts images and js copy okay once this is copied close this one and uh, we have this uh, folder right so this is the our this is our project folder right so open this one and uh, this is the uh, this one is our uh, project folder right so inside this we have create we we just create a static folder and just open this static folder and uh, just uh, uh, paste all these four folders okay so this contains the images okay so this this is just the uh, just the template images okay so just uh, let it be here and it contains also logo and uh, once this is done just go back to the code editor here okay make sure all the folders are here okay it came here also and the next thing is go to the settings.py file then just scroll down to the bottom and here after this static underscore url you have to say static underscore root and base underscore dir and uh, put a space and say static okay save it so what what it means is we are referring to the this this folder okay this is the project folder right so this folder we are uh, we are referring and uh, the static folder is this one okay inside this grid cart and we are referring to this static folder okay so this base base underscore directory is uh, mentioned in this here okay here here it is so as you can see this is the base directory it is already included in the uh, django settings.py file all right so 
once uh, this is done and next uh, it is uh, static underscore static files underscore dirs okay and this is equal to open the list and uh, here a uh, great cart so this one this great cart and uh, slash static okay so this this is all all right and you have to put this uh, comma here okay all right so it looks fine and what else uh, make sure all the spellings are correct okay so once uh, this is done we need to run a command called collect static okay what this collect static will do is it will collect all the static files from here okay from from what we gave to the static folder that is uh, uh, css fonts uh, images and css uh, i mean js and it will create a new static folder here okay on the root folder and uh, it will store all the like it will collect all the static files uh, fi files and then it will be used for the uh, website okay so uh, let me show you how we how we do that and just just uh, come here uh, wait uh, one uh, base directory uh, there is a syntax error uh, what happened okay sorry this should be here okay after this uh, slash we have to say static okay so just uh, uh, save this and and uh, now let's run the collect static command python space manage.py collect static okay let's run this all right so as you can see phi not one static files copied to this folder here you can see the new static folder is created and one thing to notice here is that it also created a folder called admin right so it also created a folder called, called admin and this css fonts images js are, are uh, just what we gave here right so these folders are automatically copied to here right all right so once this is done the next thing is we need to load the static inside the html file okay so so this color is not uh, reflecting it is because uh, i think we need to just close this one and open this again okay so the color is now working so here again let me reload uh, let me run it first python manage dot py run server it is just to show you guys so uh, so far nothing changed okay but the configuration is now done okay so the only thing remaining is we need to load the static here so first of all this uh, favicon dot icon this is uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce this is uh, icon okay all right so just cut this one okay the href cut this and open this uh, floor bracket and percentage percentage say static space now paste it okay so so this should be working but before that we need to load the static right so now the load static this should be this is must and should we need to like we must load the static in order to uh, make any static files working right so let me go we changed the uh, icon right so this icon should be changed now let me refresh that okay so uh, static file is working so the same thing we need to do all for all these files okay let me go back to the editor here the this this one is done and the next thing is we need to make this js files working cut this and percentage percentage same thing static single quotation and put this js file the path here okay so once that is done and the next one is this boost bundle dot min dot js cut this and 
flower bracket uh, percentage percentage static and uh, this bootstrap bundle dot main dot js the bootstrap dot uh, css also let me do that uh, quickly okay you also do it uh, uh, one by one let me just uh, fast forward it okay so just to uh, save some time all right so this part is done now so the uh, so the next thing is we need to fix all the images but before that we will uh, reload it once let's see uh, if uh, things are working okay so except logo and images all other things are working okay so uh, we'll make this images also working first okay these are the static images but uh, for the reference reference purpose we we will just make the static images working so the first thing is uh, the logo okay here it is this is the logo and just cut this same thing static and put this here save and uh, sorry refresh here okay so the great card this this is just uh, demo uh, logo i created by myself okay so uh, if you want to just use the new logo you can use that okay and uh, uh, go back and let, let us quickly change all the images the first image is uh, scroll down here uh, here it is the first this is the first image i uh, cut it and static all right i have changed all the path here and uh, let's just uh, refresh it now okay so everything is looking fine so what is this okay this is the this is the banner image okay so uh, go back and i think i forgot to fix that okay so here it is this banner just cut and percentage percentage static okay now refresh all right so this is the this is just a, a demo banner we'll change that later uh, i think for the home page that's it okay we'll continue this in the next lecture okay thanks